post and she's like, not gonna lie, I seen this happen. This bitch has a whole thesis statement on what the fuck is going on with me and my child's father. And it's people in the fucking comments losing their mind, having so many opinions, loud and wrong as fuck. And I just wanted to get in on this. Do not try to make me the poster child, bitch, for a single mom. Like, me and my motherfucking son is just representing the whole community. This ain't that, bitch. Y'all need to stop putting shame on mothers that walk away from situations that do not make them better. I'm going to walk the fuck away. And people are saying, oh, well, people treat babies like toys. Y'all just keep having these babies with these men that you are not planning to stay with. Bitch, do I look like Phil from the motherfucking future? If I knew this shit was going to go on, I wouldn't have had a fucking child. Duh, bitch. Duh, one plus one equals fucking two. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to stay with somebody just for a certain look. And I thought about it. And I'm like, you know, I tried for my son. Maybe I can just try to keep making this work. But I saw a post that said God will cause havoc in your relationship over and over and over again. Every single day, it will not fucking work. Because God is trying to show you something. And she said in the video, she was like, sometimes... He'll do something so bad that it'll force you to surrender to him. And I know so many people that go through things and God forbid something happens to their child father. And, you know, they tried and they tried and they tried. But if you would have just walked away from the situation, shit would have been so different. I don't want to put myself in that. I'm going to walk the fuck away. I don't want my son to see me in that type of predicament. I'm going to do what the fuck is best for us. And I'm not going to give y'all certain details, you feel me, of what goes on. But just know shit goes down behind closed fucking doors. And I'm a grown-ass woman. I'm not 14. I'm not 16. I'm not 18. I'm a solid 25. I can do what the fuck I want to do. I handle everything, bitch. Everything. Got that brand new Benz outside in a three-story home, ho. Bigger than your grandmama house. Don't play with me. So I'm handling business. My son is never a motherfucking toy. Never a motherfucking toy, but I'm gonna pop my shit because it's been so long that I haven't said anything, you know, out of respect, doing what the fuck I gotta do. But this is my motherfucking life. I do this shit. I got myself to this point. I'm Queen Lior for a fucking reason, and I wanna show people out there, like mothers that are in situations just like me, bitch, do what the fuck you gotta do. Walk the fuck away. Don't nobody get no fuck about that shame. Like how I wake up and a bitch posting my business, oh, I knew this was gonna happen. Mm, she's another single mom. People laughing and shit. I don't get no fuck. Like people, somebody said in the comments, she ain't the first and she ain't gonna be the last. You think I give a fuck about what somebody gotta say? A nigga don't make or break me at all. I sometimes I feel bad, like damn, you know, my son, I could have had this happy family, but bitch, I wouldn't have been happy. So I don't give a fuck. Shit like that will break people. Like, damn, people saying I ain't got no baby daddy. My baby daddy, ooh, that baby ain't got no daddy no more. You gonna be looking at that baby and saying, damn, you look just like your baby. No, no the fuck I'm not. You look just like your daddy. No the fuck I'm not. I'm gonna say you look just like my son. You look just like me. The fuck? My mama always told me, bro, at the end of the day, it's mama's baby, daddy's baby, fam. That's my motherfucking child. I'm going to do what the fuck I got to do to survive. I'm going to be fine. Making a post and say, saying what the fuck you saw, bitch. Don't give a fuck about it. Hoes in the chair. Oh, yeah, me too, me too. But you couldn't see that that nigga was going to give you an STD, though. You laid down and still had another motherfucking baby with this bitch, though. Y'all be going through the worst of motherfucking shit, bitch. Niggas be dragging y'all through the fucking trenches, ho, by your collar. So, the least of my concerns is what these hoes is talking about. It's just, we're not going to make a mockery out of my motherfucking family. This ain't that. This ain't that. We'll never make a mockery. It'll never be a mockery. Like, I call my friend, and my friend like, who the fuck printed this? Who the fuck is on the press team, bitch? Because you got it all the fuck wrong. And cheating, it'll never give cheating. Like, that's what I'm saying. You hoes don't have no morals. It's all about another bitch to y'all. It's all about some dick to y'all. No, baby, it's not about that. Sometimes it goes deeper than that. I'm, not, I'm grown as fuck. I'm not going to let somebody else come into my relationship. I'm not going to let nobody tell me what the fuck to do, really. Really, I'm not. I have stepped into myself. Like, before you become a mother, you change. I don't even know who the fuck I used to be before I had my child. And I love y'all, too. Everybody in my comments, you know. it's Because mamas know what the fuck be going on, bro. 
it wasn't until I became a mom, like, I used to look at all this drama and shit, this baby mama drama, all this shit before I had a child, and I had a totally different outlook. You'll never understand until you have children. Like, when people be arguing, they be like, if you don't have children, don't fucking put an input in. Bitch, I feel that. Don't put an input in. It's a, it's something you can't never explain. It's something you can't never explain. So, okay, tell me shit. I love you too, Miss Jackson. Yeah, Hulk ain't tell me shit about nothing. I know, I ain't know what the fuck goes on about me. And a motherfucker cannot be mad. I'm calling their mama bald head, none of that. When you don't respect somebody, when you talk about somebody like a motherfucking dog, when you do this and that, all bets are off the fucking table. I don't care whose mother you are. You're nobody's mother to me. Shit, you had them early as fuck. We only about 16 years apart. You really big suck. The fuck? Like, I don't, I don't care. I'm being very, very, I'm, I'm working on being transparent with myself because I'm a Virgo, y'all know this, so I'm a Kermit, if y'all are familiar with horoscopes, like, I like to close in and I'm trying to work on not closing in. I'm trying to work on realistically ex explaining myself and realistically knowing what's gonna happen after and you know i'm i'm dealing with it i'm feeling it be uncomfortable for a season so you can reap all the blessings in the next one like i'm just in my uncomfortable stage so if i'm gonna be in my uncomfortable stage everybody's gonna be in their uncomfortable stage don't nobody get no fuck don't nobody give a fuck about me when i'm crying and shit don't nobody give a fuck about me when my feelings hurt don't nobody get no fuck about me i'm talking about nobody bitch so i'm just gonna just speak my piece i'm gonna do whatever the fuck i want to do anyway because a bitch don't care no way do it and y'all got to stop hey it could be worse it's not even bad like i swear to god y'all don't even know how long me and him have been really broken up we've been broken up for like over a month now basically we're going on our second fucking month we've been broke the fuck up y'all just catching the tea it's not nothing bad it's the fact that i woke up and bitches are running their dick suckers who the fuck who the fuck gave you hoes permission to run this? Who ran this fucking story? Bitch. What the fuck is going on? But that's a topic I want to get into. Stop shaming these fucking women for doing what the fuck they want to do with their relationship. The fuck? I'm just letting y'all know what it is and why I'm shading shawty. I started shading his mama out the blue because I heard she was running her fucking mouth. Like, people are coming back to me telling me shit that she's saying that's very fucking personal. And I feel like family is family no matter what the fuck is going on. It should be a line that you fucking cross. And she crossed that line in my fucking opinion. Everybody around her wanted to act like, oh, she didn't do nothing that fucking bad. Well, okay, okay, okay. Well, since all bets are off the fucking table, since people can talk about me like a motherfucking dog. Out the window, all respect. Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck. So that's where all of that extra shit came from. And I know I'm not right. That was not correct at all. But that was a little therapy for me. That's what the fuck I had to do. I'm proud of myself. Pat on the back. Because I expressed myself freely with no type of restrictions. I felt good. Yeah, I don't know why she chose me either. And then the Birmingham hoes. Let's get into that. The Birmingham hoes. This motherfucker sharing the shit and sharing their and voicing their motherfucking opinions. Ho, y'all better not say motherfucking shit. Y'all the same hoes that see me out of public and look the other motherfucking way. Same hoes screaming out what to do, bitches. Why the fuck do you have an opinion, bitch? And I went to middle school with you. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know me, yo. Let's just button it up. Bitch, how the fuck I'm friends with folks on Facebook and they sharing the shit talking about it like I'm righteous a fucking celebrity. I need the backstory. Y'all do not need the backstory. That's a little bit too much. I'm not gonna give y'all personal details. I'm just gonna let y'all know hoes got me fucked up and what they got me fucked up at. And then we're just gonna move on. Cause this is the point I made in my life. Yeah, she was my manager. She wasn't and she's not anymore. I've been, been, been fired her. Like April of 2022. It's gonna be 2024. Y'all miss it, Y'all really not miss it, shit. I would wanna know too, shit. I mean, I'm out here dropping bare minimum ass details, the fuck. I would wanna know too. Don't mind my nails. I cannot get this hoe off and I will not hurt myself. But I mean, I would wanna know too, but I'm just not gonna tell y'all. 
Yeah, I'll be back together. Who knows? Who fucking knows? Who knows? I'm just on some me shit. Like, I'm on some my son shit. Like, we just, we're vibing. Let's just chill vibe. We got Christmas coming up. We got Thanksgiving coming up. And y'all, do not start writing that boy in his DM talking about something. You need to get your mama. Because I have a feeling some of y'all done fucking did that. Do not do that. Do not fucking do that. Do not fucking do that. And if y'all do get back together, that y'all be his. Oh, I mean, heavy on that bitch. Never, never shameful, ho. I'm never motherfucking shameful. I learned this a long time ago. When it comes to a bitch and her man, leave them alone. Leave them be. You don't know what the fuck be going on in their household. It is what it is. But I'm letting y'all know at the point of my life that I'm in, it's only fair. I'm a fucking influencer. This is what I do each and every goddamn day. So I'm going to explain this to y'all. I'm going to be transparent as fuck because I know I have mothers that follow me, that look up to me, that, you know, want to know certain details of my life. And I'm going to take y'all on this because I don't know who I'm helping through this journey. I'm going through a journey and I'm going to take y'all with me and we're going to elevate and we're going to move on. And if my child's father wants to work this out, he wants to come to me on that level and we get it together, we get it together. But I am not feel the fucking future but what i will do is be transparent with the people that i fuck with that have gotten me to this position that got me in that bins in that three-story home that my son's sleeping comfortably in